to represent the uh, home country of the Kansas. It's a blessing because um, not too many people get to represent their countries or a country, period. And um, I feel that it's my time to do it this year because of the earthquake and, you know, Haiti been through a lot since um, the um, earthquake and the presidential and people, uh, the rights that's being held down there. So it's kind of tough down there for um, Haiti. And um, me, I feel that if I do the Olympics that I would give back a lot to Haiti and we rebuilt houses and gyms down there so people could live better and hopefully, you know, um, bring more water in, clean water and food. So I want to be the first Haitian to get gold and I'm training super hard now so hopefully I could get that done and hopefully there's a, a lot of things that is, that's going to come after that. How did you first get involved in boxing? My, my, my big brother that's in prison now, he used to um, beat me up when I was younger and um, I used to come home crying because all the other kids would pick on me in school. Sometimes I would beat them up and I would still come home crying because I just don't like being picked on. And one time he beat me up badly and he threw me in the gym. Well, he, he threw me in a um, fitness gym in Miami and he had a guy taught me how to box. So I've been training ever since I was 12. And when I came up here, um, last year, just last year, I started um, competing. Um, my father didn't want me to compete yet because he felt that I, I, I had a lot to um, control my anger from childhood, get a pick on. And um, I started competing last year and I entered the Golden Glove and lost in um, semi-finals. This was a novice or? Novice. Well, tell me, talk about that experience. Um, you know, things didn't go your way there, but it's really one of the biggest tournaments in the country. You made the semifinals. What weight class is it? 123. And that's where you're going to be competing, 123? Yes. Um, and that's, that's, 123 is a pretty deep division. Yeah, um, you made the semifinals. Talk about that experience, you know, um, having won a couple of fights in the, in the tournament and, and having been able to, to show uh, people who didn't know who you were what you were about. Yeah, um, a, a lot of people were surprised because nobody really knew where I came from, or what gym I came from, because I never really, you know, fought on stage as much as people was, was there. So um, I was recognized a lot because of my power and um, the, um, a, a, a lot of people was just surprised through my power to be a able to um, give people count and eights and um, qualify as far as I went. In New York, um, flat bus. Flat bus. And uh, tell me, um, what um, what is your uh, amateur highlights? How many fights did you have? I, I had six fights. And uh, how many? Uh, what, 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 what was your favorite moment of it? In the in the Golden Gloves. Yeah. And um, yeah, was... talk to me. What do you like to do besides boxing? Um, oh, I'm a jock. I I, I play football. I'm gifted in football. 
I ran track too, but I had hamstring problems. So when I was supposed to get a um, scholarship in high school, they didn't accept me because of my um, hamstring problem. I was ranked eight and um, 400s back in 2006, 2006. And, um, I couldn't compete no more because of my hamstring, and that's how I, I really started com competing in boxing. What high school did you go to? Canarsie High School. And now talk to me about um, you know, some of the, you know, your, your job. Uh, you uh, play as Aaron, or do you do anything else? Like, do you have any other hobbies? I, I write poetry. get gold and so hopefully God bless me with a gold medal so I could rebuild Haiti, rebuild houses and give back to the community that gave back to my mom and my my, my, my dad because they both was born in um, Haiti.